Hey guys, it's Nina and welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys on TikTok what kind of TikTok related YouTube videos should I make? And I got a lot of requests for how do you do the twin effect or how do you clone yourself? So today I thought I would do a how to clone yourself tutorial. And if you do not know what that looks like, here are a few examples. two different ways. The first way involves a phone and video star and the second way you can use a phone or a camera and an iMac. Whenever I usually do this effect I usually use the second way because I usually use a DSLR camera and it gives really nice quality so I definitely recommend that but if you don't have like a high quality camera you can just like use your cell phone and it works the same way too. Also, if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure to go follow me at NinaElizabeth1. So anyways, let's get started. So when you're filming your TikTok, you're either going to want to put your phone on a tripod like I have it, or somewhere where it can just stay still, and once you have it placed, do not move it. Because if you move it, it will mess up the entire TikTok. So once you have it placed, open up your camera, and you're going to want to Hold down your camera until it says AEAF lock. And that's just locking the lighting so the lighting doesn't change. Also, I suggest filming from the back camera because it is a lot better quality than the front camera and it will make the overall TikTok look a lot nicer. Another thing you're gonna need that I forgot to mention earlier is another device. I have an iPad here and what you're gonna do on it is you're gonna open up TikTok and find a TikTok using the same sound that you want to use and leave it on repeat. This helps you like be able to lip sync to the song while you're filming. So the way you film this is I'm in my first character's outfit. So I'm going to take a clip of me sitting on one side of the bed lip syncing to all my first character's lines. Then after that I'm going to change it to my second character and take a clip of me on the other side of the bed lip syncing to all the second character's lines. Then in Video Star, we're gonna put the clips together. So now I'm in my second character's outfit, and I'll just be doing the same thing just on the left side of the bed. TikTok. But first, we need to get the sound. So open up TikTok and go and find the sound that you want to use. What I like to do is make a private and save it to my phone. Make sure to save your private to your phone. Once you've done that, open up Video Star and create a new project. Make sure it's facing the right direction that you filmed in. Select the sound you're using, then press make video. So once you have it open, press new and press multi-layer clip. Now I'm pretty sure multi-layer clip costs money, but that's the only way you can do it on Video Star. And I don't think there's any other apps on your phone that you can use to like edit two together. So I suggest getting it. Then you're gonna import your clips on numbers one and two. and drag it to like where you want it to start and end.
you imported your two clips, you're gonna go to number two and press add mask. Then you're just gonna erase the whole other side. So once you have the majority of it erased, you're gonna take the slider to the right and slide it all the way up. And then go over like the ending line of where you were. This helps like feather it so it like blends together better if that makes sense. Then once you feel like you have it good, press done and your two clips should be together. Then once you feel like you have it good, press create. Once you finish that, watch the preview to make sure it's good. So if you like that, press done and save it to your phone. Then we're going to open back up TikTok and find the sound. Then you're going to put it over the video you just edited. And go to volume and make sure your volume for soundtrack is all the way up and original is all the way down. It just makes it sound better. That's it. That's how you do the twin clone effect on Video Star. So the second way to clone yourself either involves a camera or a phone. For this one, I'm using a DSLR camera and an iMac. You're basically gonna film this the same way as you did for the iPhone, just on a camera. So make sure once you put the camera there, keep it there, don't move it, and also lock the lighting. Usually on cameras, you can lock the lighting by going to manual mode, but it's different on like every camera. And you can have the choice of filming it either portrait mode or landscape. But for this one, I think I'm gonna film it portrait mode just because it will be like upwards and like fill up the screen when it's actually posted to TikTok. TikTok, it's time for editing, and the first thing you gotta do is import your footage. Once all of your clips are imported, you're gonna go to Final Cut Pro and press New Project. If you don't have Final Cut Pro, I totally recommend getting it because you can do so much with it, but if you don't have it, there is a way you can do the same thing on iMovie, which is totally free, but the only thing is you cannot wear anything green or blue in your video. So once you have your new project open, the first thing I import is the sound so you can change the composition size. My camera films on so that is the best like composition to use so I like to take it one clip at a time so I'm gonna start off with the one in the green dress first I'm just gonna rotate it to 90 degrees and if you can't get there get as close as you can and then scale it until it fits. Then you're gonna cut it so it lines up with the sound.
So I think I got the first clip lined up pretty good. So now it's time to import the second clip. And I'm just gonna put it on top of the first clip. So I'm gonna take this clip and come up to edit and press paste attributes. This will help resize and scale it. Wait, first I have to copy it. <laughs> There we go. So now I'm gonna trim it to where this one lines up with the sound now. To the same size and remove the sound. So now we're gonna merge the two scenes together. So I'm just gonna take this and come over here, scroll down to masks and go to draw mask. It says click to add a key point. So I'm just gonna draw a line down the middle here. And there you should see, you should have two clips together. So what I like to do is I like to take the feather tool and feather it a little bit so it doesn't look too like it looks more real. And I, you might need to adjust the lighting just a little bit because there are like some mistakes sometimes. See, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's watch it. It's a little like laggy right now, but that's just because it's loading. So yeah, the lagging should fix once you export it, but I would say it looks pretty good and time to export. To export, you're just gonna go up to this little button and press master file and title it whatever you want. Then after that, I usually will email the clip to my phone and download it and then just post it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it and learned something from it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, as well as other suggestions for like other tutorials I should do, or just other suggestions for other videos I should do in general. <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I haven't really been posting on this channel recently, like real actual videos, and I want to start getting this channel up and running again, so suggestions would definitely help. <laughs> Also, if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure to go follow me on TikTok at Nina Elizabeth one I am getting so close to 40,000 fans and that is just, oh my gosh, that is just crazy. When I first started making TikToks, I didn't expect me to get anywhere close to that, but thank you guys just so much for following me and liking all my TikToks. It means so much to me. Also, please go follow me on Instagram at ninaelizabeth.yt where I'll be posting like questions or information and just stuff to keep you up to date and stuff you probably want to know too. Well, anyways, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications. I'm also getting so close to a thousand subscribers and man, it's just, it's just all crazy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!